All right, thank you so much for joining us on the 63rd edition of Lunch Out Loud Ottawa. My name is Nick Vachuski. I'm Andrew Miller. 63, hear that? Yeah, 63. It has three for <laughs> Petra. And we are here at the Ottawa Athletic Centre Tennis Courts. And before we get to Petra Janiskova, why don't we check this out? Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Patrick. I'm Kelsey. Hi, I'm Jesse. And hey, I'm Adam. Uh, we are Patterson Hall, an Ottawa-based band. Uh, we have recently released our first recording entitled O, which you may find at pattersonhall.bandcamp.com. Uh, also be sure to check us out on the net on our Facebook site webpage for cool hip content. All right, thank you so much, Patterson Hall. Of course, they opened for Kale Matson a couple of weeks ago. They were awesome. That's from the OEP, which I definitely, because that was just a clip of O Miranda, but the rest of the song is incredible. So hopefully you go to their Bandcamp website and uh, download that album, because I think you're going to be hearing a lot from them in the future. So lots of fun there. So we're joined with the Ottawa tennis sensation, Petra Janiskova. Who, are you still currently in the, your top 10 women's tennis player in Canada? Yeah, I think I'm 10th. Let's go for That's let's good, go. top 10. We're going to number <laughs> yeah. one. We're going to number one here. For sure. And you're, and you're born in Ottawa. Yeah, I was born and raised in Ottawa. Played at Penn State in the United States. How many, when you were living in the States, did you tell people you're from Toronto or Ottawa? Because I know they're not very good with knowing Ottawa in the States. <laughs> Actually, no one really even knew where Ottawa was. I That's mean, it. Every time I asked... Uh, if they knew what the capital was, everyone's like, Toronto, Montreal, and I was like, no. Did anybody get Ottawa. it right? Did <laughs> no. anybody get it right? I mean, maybe like a few, like two or three. Out of probably Out of like hundreds. like four years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a lot of geography majors at Penn State then, eh? Barely <laughs> not, eh? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's uh, one thing you do learn from the States. Yeah. It's pretty embarrassing. All my years of traveling in the States, not one person, I think just one person in Washington, D.C. got... The uh, capital, right? But, Probably because they watch hockey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm still go. amazed that when even when they watch hockey down there, they don't even know it. So, but when you bring friends from Penn State up here, or uh, mm -hmm. friends from the tennis community across Canada to Ottawa, where do you like to bring them, or where do you like to uh, show them in Ottawa? Well, the one time I did bring a friend, um, we went to the museum. <laughs> Which museum did you go to? <laughs> the War Museum. There's just lots of the War Museum's cool. awesome. I love uh, the War Museum. Beaver Tales, obviously. Yeah. Um, and the canal. Have you been game. out there this year? Actually, haven't. Oh, we gotta get you. Yeah, well, no, we should. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna get pretty warm this uh, weekend already. So. It's, uh, it's Is still, it still open. open. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Day okay. sixty-five, I think Ooh. today, and then, uh, last year was forty-two. So. Not even going on the sixty-third day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she loves the number three. That's one thing we've learned. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we played tennis earlier. That was a lot of fun. I got to see Andrew. Uh, yeah. For his first time in 23, 24 not, years. Uh, I don't think I've swung a racket yet since around ninety-one. <laughs> so that's good. And the, the two of us didn't even come close to. Uh, taking down Petra here so I like that Petra did not take it easy on you from the first hit on you no. were, <laughs> she was cutting at you that's okay you're like tough it. on it yeah I, I like, like it. it now I'm going to be forced to go snowboarding which I'm definitely f afraid of there any other major restaurants that you love to come back to Ottawa for or mm. that have changed over time since what part of town were you originally from in Ottawa Nepean Nepean okay yeah. any spots out there that you like to hit up then not really no? <laughs> I mean uh Crazy Horse is probably the closest thing to... Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the closest. But you're, I don't think anybody's mentioned Crazy Horse here, and it's, it's, it's not it's very nice popular. Place, nice place out in Canada. Yeah. It is. You go ride some bulls. Did you rode the bull out there? Yeah, once. <laughs> How'd you do? 
not too good. Sticking to tennis. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> How is this tennis scene in Ottawa right now? We have Jesse Levine, we have you, we have... We have Elizabeth Fournier, um, we have Gabriella Jabrowski, who's actually, I think, top 200, top 70 in doubles. So yeah. She's doing really well. She plays on the Fed Cup team. The Fed Cup yeah. team. Uh, how old are you right now? Just turned 23. 23? Yeah. Okay, 23. And there's number three again here. Yeah. Third month, <laughs> third day. Okay. <laughs> so the tennis scene is good. We have lots of clubs in Ottawa. Which club were you originally part of? Um, I would say the OIC um, during the winter time. And then in the summer, I used to be uh, a member of Elmdale Tennis Club. The Elmdale Tennis yeah. Where is that? The Elmdale Tennis Club located? Um, is it close to you? Elmdale Center? No. The Plaza? I don't even know what street that's on. Whatever, next. <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> and, do you, and do you still play there? Uh, not anymore, actually. In the summers, I just train here, pretty much. If you and, see. and play tournaments elsewhere. Yeah, but I wasn't here for like the past four years because I was at Penn State. And the futures of Gatineau, you're you're thinking of going there tonight. Definitely. And t- can you tell us a bit of the, the futures of Gatineau that's going on right now at the Capitol? Uh, it's a twenty-five thousand dollar tournament. And, um, oh wow! Yeah, the top seeded player was Dancevich, but he just pulled out, and I think he's ranked around in the hundreds. Yeah. So it's a it's a really good tournament. He was doing well at the Australian yeah. Open until he had a the heat he had the heat exhaust, mm-hmm. and then he had to pull yeah. out the next match, which. Which kind of sucked. I remember that, yeah. But uh, and, but Philippe Paliwell was there. Yeah, he actually lost to my friend. He's as you know. As you, and he'll be playing tonight, tonight that you're going to be seeing yeah. at six thirty. And it's only about ten fifteen dollars to get out there to see great tennis uh, Canadian tennis oh, players in okay? summer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you don't. But maybe you don't. But us common folk do have to. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> so the reason I asked your age. You, you're ranked uh, number 10. What, what's the other age groups in the top 10? Yeah, I, like, is yeah. tennis a relatively uh, young sport? A lot sport of the girls or? are actually older than me, I think, or close to my age right now that are top 10. Um, is that a specific uh, kind of division? Like, but right now, juniors, seniors, I or think is it's it just, just This overall? one's just open overall. So there could be juniors in that as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Excellent. Um, but I think the average age right now for top 200 pro players is 26 and a half. Well, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. And a, a, were a lot of them in the NCAA like your, yourself, or what's the most common route to get, you know? I think I think it's more common now, just because players want to get their education first before they go pro. But before it was you either go pro or you go to college. But now it's more it's more often that players play after college. And how was college for you? How did you like going to Penn State? It was amazing. You were there during some very interesting times yeah, at Penn State. <laughs> pretty intense. <laughs> what, was, what was happening at Penn State while she was there? The, you did, whole, the uh, whole Joe Paterno, Jerry Sandusky. Oh, all of the uh, scandals there. The yeah. scandals yeah. going on. The Sandusky, yeah. Were you close to the scandals? Did they, or did you <laughs> train? Well, well not, you, you weren't close. You were not well, that, it's funny because so. before the whole uh, thing happened, I actually saw Sandusky like a few days before they actually... Uh, told us about the whole scandal. But we didn't actually know until it actually came on the news. And you had no none, idea? None of the football players, yeah. no one knew. Were you floored by that then? Yeah, everyone was. Even the football players, they were Absolutely. Everyone was so surprised. But then you followed off some great years with Brian O'Bri- uh, O'Brien, Bill, yeah, O'Brien, Bill O'Brien, who's now coach of the Houston Texans. Yeah, so he just quit. Lots of stuff with Penn State going on there. Yeah. Went from the New England Patriots. Miller, if I just filling you in here. Yeah. He was offensive coordinator for the New England Patriots. I then he coached at Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's a, now he's the head coach of Houston, Texas. Just just for your football knowledge there. there. You go. I think I knew that. <laughs> or this is a deja vu right now. One or the other. So what were some t- <laughs> what were some of your favorite tennis tournaments that you did in college? Like what were some of the interesting ones around? Uh, well, I got a interesting locations. There's a f- like in the fall. Usually the whole team played. Uh, like it's more individual in the fall. So there's a few tournaments that I went to that my uh, teammates didn't go to, like uh, All Americans, okay. which is like the top 64 players in the nation, and I also got to play Nationals, which was the top 32 players in the nation, and that was probably the coolest. Where were experience. those located? Um, Nationals was actually in New York City, where the U.S. Open. Oh, really? Is played, yeah. Flushing Meadows. Yeah, Flushing Meadows. Yeah. That's fun. And then All Americans was in California, so I got to go to California where three did, times. Where did you play Sweet. in California? Um, it was at UCLA, and then there was a, like, a golf club it was located at. 
Oh really? Yeah. Have you played in Palm Springs as well? Um, probably when I was younger, because I, I used to go down for Orange Bowl and like Prince Cup in December when I was younger. Wow, that's cool. How lo- when did you start playing tennis? Uh, when I was four. Four years <laughs> old? Four, yeah. Did your parents play or? Um, no, my dad did professional motocross, dirt biking oh, in sweet. Czechoslovakia, so he didn't, my oldest sister played tennis, and I think that's how we, both my middle sister and me, we started playing. But we played many sports when we were younger. Like, I did gymnastics, I did rope skipping. Yeah, until you figure out what you really yeah. want to do, obviously. How did you yeah. figure out tennis was the one that you ultimately wanted to do? It was the do. only one I was really good at, other than <laughs> rope skipping. Um, but, yeah. That's a tough profession, rope skipping, no way. So. It was actually pretty tough. Yeah. Did you go to tournaments for rope skipping? Well, I actually won nationals. There's really? Not, there's nationals yeah, in rope I skipping? Did, yeah. What does that and entail? My sister came third in the world. She went to Cuba. I was, yeah. Cuba for rope skipping? Yeah. <laughs> That's wow. a lot of that's triple Dutch. So I don't that's know. like double Dutch or <laughs> double, double Dutch, Dutch. <laughs> or triple Dutch. I don't know. Yeah. So wow, it's pretty intense. Um, I'm just trying to picture what ropes could be <laughs> championship would look like. It's, yeah. How many hours a day when you were younger were you playing tennis? So how like for mm. for people that are aspiring to be like you, how many hours are they needing to put in while they're? Well, I didn't do I didn't train as much as I did at Penn State, um, but. Probably around three hours after school. Okay, every single day. Yeah, I mean, probably have it like a one day off. But sometimes I even played like during lunchtime. You left school to do that. Yeah. What what age were you leaving school then to to play tennis? Oh, I can't really remember, but probably when I was like eight. Did you play with your oh, parents or with my dad? Yeah. With your dad. Yeah. So did they they he clearly knew from a young age that like. You were a bit of a tennis prodigy of sorts? Or? Yeah, well, my oldest sister, I think, has the most uh, national uh, titles. She has 14 national titles. Oh, wow. So, I, don't, I guess it runs in the family. I don't know. <laughs> Is she still playing now? Uh, she coaches uh, at the New Edinburgh. Okay. Yeah. Who would win between you both now? Me now, but before, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How does she take that? <laughs> I don't know. No, she knows. <laughs> you, you, like you said earlier, you haven't broken a racket. I've broken several. Uh, would you, if you played her and she beat you, would you break your racket? Is there a chance? Ooh, probably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. You don't have the fiery uh, rage at, when you're playing. No, I'm. Well, I do. I'm pretty fiery, but um, I definitely don't break my rackets. Not to that extent. Your favorite time yelling at a referee because they were incompetent. Ooh. Many times. Many times. <laughs> what's the funny? Pretty bad refs. <laughs> what's the funniest thing you've you've said to a ref? Ooh. Well, I usually just tell them to get glasses. <laughs> if they have glasses on, and like get you should probably glasses. check your glasses. Because <laughs> I remember at the tournament in Gatineau last year, Philippe Paliwa. Oh, Paliwa, he's so funny. He's, he's the, hysterical. The, if you're, it's worth watching him yeah, play. He's, yeah, he's asking. He was asking the Quebec ref who paid him. He's like, yeah. how? How did you come all the way to Gatineau to get paid off for this tournament? <laughs> and the oh, ref's like, great. I'm not. Please quiet down. He's like, okay, well, instead of glass, like, you just going on. He's a stare. paragraphs. It was worth watching. So I hope he gets better because I need to see more of him on TV. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Like old Djokovic. Was, yeah, he's, oh, he, he's funny too. They, they were a lot of fun. All right, well, we're, that's the first half of the show is just came up so quickly. We're going to take one more break listen to one more song from Patterson Hall and then we're going to do, uh, join Don and Chet, uh, Jen Chow from Foodie Prince who will talk about the Ottawa uh, getting another ramen option ra- ramen? I ramen. Think, uh, ramen ramen noodles ramen, oh, ramen noodles, noodles? Yeah. yeah so there's a new option in Ottawa and you're, we're also going to get a preview of the National Art Center's oh, casual good. Where, Friday event where's the uh, new ramen noodle spot because I've heard we don't have a lot of ramen noodle spots in Ottawa. Well, we're going to have to just listen to Don and Jen Chow. Let's hurry yeah. it up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this song's Empty Voice from Patterson Hall, and we'll be right back with Petra.
All right, thanks, Nick. For this week's food segment, we're actually going to do two degrees of food, and we're going to start with one of my favorites, noodle soup. So Ottawa very recently just had its first noodle fest, and if there was one thing that Don and I noticed, it's that the stalls with the longest lineups were the vendors who were doing their own creative take on ramen. So it sounds like that Ottawa is going crazy for this Japanese style of noodles. Now, if you happen to be in downtown, the only place that you can get a bowl of ramen for lunch is at Side Door. But Don, what about for those people like me who might be craving it any time during the day? Well, you're in luck. A、uh, very venerable 28-year-old、uh, Japanese restaurant called Festival Japan, which、uh, many of us will recognize,、uh, which is located at、uh, 149 Kent Street in downtown Ottawa, they're now serving tonkotsu ramen at about 11.95 a bowl. Well, that doesn't sound very expensive at all. But、uh, Don, could you tell us a little bit about what tonkotsu-style ramen is? Uh, Takatsu style ramen is very, very flavorful. Flavorful. It's very, very rich.、Uh, it's made by simmering pork bone,、uh, pork bones, and pork back fat for a very long time. And what happens is some of the fat renders and it emulsifies, creating a lot of flavor. Okay. Well, I have to make a confession. I've actually already gone and had this bowl of noodles, and I can tell you, it's delicious. And it comes with a terrific soft-boiled egg on the side. And it also comes with、uh, the tra- traditional rolled、uh, pork belly called chashu, and it's delicious. Go, go, go! Grab a bowl. Well, since we are on the subject of great flavors, there is going to be a fantastic event taking place this Friday night at the NAC, and it's actually the second installment of a three-concert series called Casual Fridays. This time, it's going to be featuring Amanda Forsyth on the cello. Now, before the performance starts, though, there's going to be a culinary overture at 5 p.m. And we we were lucky enough to participate in the tasting last week.、Uh, executive chef John Morris he has decided to create an Italian inspired menu because the NEC Orchestra will also perform Mendelssohn Mendelssohn Symphony Number、no. Four, which is commonly known as the Italian.、Uh, of the dishes、uh, he will be serving on the menu, we highly highly recommend the confit and genie, and the shaved lamb on polenta. There's also going to be some gluten-free and vegetarian options, and all ticket holders for the culinary overture will also、um, have a choice of either a glass of wine, a beer, or a non-alcoholic beverage. Now, at the moment, there are still tickets available. You can get tickets for just the performance or for both the performance and the culinary overture.、Uh, check out the NAC website for the、uh, ticket prices. But uh, Don. Um, I think we're also doing something、uh, special for the uh, concert. Uh, the NEC graciously gave us a pair of、uh, tickets to the performance and for the culinary overture to give away. So if you go to foodieprints dot com right now,、uh, you have the opportunity to enter for the giveaway. And I should also mention that on our site, you can also get a sneak peek at the、uh, tapas style menu that will be served. One moment. All right. Thank you so much, Don and Jen. That was enlightening. I hope Andrew knows more about our ramen.、Next. Thankfully, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and、uh, Friday will be a lot of fun at the NAC.、Uh, What's at the NAC? Well, there's what we just listened to from Don and Jen Chow, the、uh, Casual Friday event where there's good food and、uh, and good music over at the NAC. So, Petra, what's going on with you now? Like, where? What's training for you like? What are some upcoming tournaments where people can watch you? Uh, tell us a bit about that.、Um, well, right now I'm training here at the OIC. Last week I went to train at Penn State,、um, but usually my days consist of around four hours of tennis here, and then、um, usually it's like two hours in the morning, then two hours in the afternoon, and then I do、uh, an hour and a half of fitness at the Canadian Tire Center with Warren Goldenberg. Okay, all right on.、Yeah. What type of、uh, fitness training do you have to do?、Um, well, it's spread out. So Mondays and Fridays are lifting and conditioning, and then Wednesdays are just lift. Oh well, today not too much. I think we wore you down. I don't think you、oh, need. Yeah, yeah, no, you、done. can take the <laughs> afternoon off. We have some treats from Thimble Cakes for you to thank you for coming on the show. But、uh, you can take the afternoon off. 
Uh, <laughs> do you like training indoor or outdoor more? Ooh, that's a hard question. Um, probably indoors, but I probably play better outdoors. Oh, really? Yeah. Why, it's like knuckleball and baseball? You, exactly. Is it? <laughs> the, the conditions are a little different? Usually I find? play better in harder conditions than other players. Really? It's usually more, yeah, more of an advantage. What's your grasp of the clay court? Um, I enjoy playing on clay, but I'm not the best on sliding on clay. Yeah? So it's not, yeah. And, and and this is just an update. You ha- you tore your ACL like myself, and you made me feel really bad earlier. Yeah. When, when uh, this was my first time playing tennis in six months, I got out there. I told you, you're like, oh, yeah, I had my ACL. When when did you last play? Oh, I uh, my first tournament was three months after I got my ACL. Tournament, too. She played in a tournament. But it was only doubles. So that's it was only doubles. Oh, sorry. You didn't have to move too much. Yeah, How'd you do in that one? I think we won it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else for you. Far, but I think we won it. Right on. Backtracking question, what did you take in Penn State? Marketing. Marketing? Mm-hmm. Any future plans oh. besides tennis? Uh, sports marketing would be nice. Sports marketing? Mm-hmm. Is there a company or yeah. something that you want to work at uh, uh, in particular? Or? Maybe for a team or like a brand like Adidas or Nike. That'd be nice. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite sports team? Sports team? That you'd, you'd want to work for. Uh, probably the Pittsburgh Penguins. Pittsburgh Penguins, yeah. Sidney Crosby. She has a crush. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, uh, where are some upcoming tournaments? I know you'll be playing one in Gatineau, July 7th to the yes, 13th. Correct. Um, well, my next one was supposed to be in Florida in two weeks yeah. from now, but I actually withdrew from it because, um, yeah, I don't really know it, but I'm not quite sure what my next tournament is. Okay. But probably a few of the Canadian ones, maybe a few in the U.S. How many do you normally do a year? Well, I'd like to do it a lot more than I have been. Yeah. It's super hard to find sponsors, so once I find sponsors, it'd be a lot easier. Because obviously, you have to pay for your own travel, yeah. to get down there, accommodation. And especially at the start, you don't make that much money. Does it cost a lot to register into a tournament? No, it's only forty dollars. That's not too bad. Okay. Oh, and is there cash prizes generally, or how does how yeah, does it Yeah, there's cash it prizes, but it's uh, you don't make that much. Like I just won a ten thousand dollar doubles tournament, and we got like two hundred euros, which didn't even cover like three nights at the resort. Yeah, and you won that tournament, and you yeah. won two, and you got two hundred. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's rough. Where was <laughs> that? Where was that tournament? Uh, that was in Spain. We can. Uh, we need more Ottawa sponsors for you then. Yeah. Outside, so tourism. Yeah. We get some Ottawa tourism because you're representing yeah, Ottawa very well. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, any mentors in Ottawa that have paved your way to for your success now? Um, any coaches that you think back on that are yeah, still coaching in Ottawa? Yeah, Tony Roth here at the OIC. I've been working with him. Um, I think my parents have been really supportive, but I think Tony Roth has been. Like he's helped me a lot with my game, and he, and he he, well he still coaches that. here at the Ottawa Athletic Center. Yeah, mm-hmm. wonderful. Now you were say, you were saying earlier that tennis is a really expensive sport mm-hmm. to get into. Now I personally wouldn't have thought that, but again, I don't know anything about tennis. So mm-hmm. I mean, I would think, okay, golf, yeah, there's an expensive sport um, or a game to play. Why, why is tennis uh, so, expensive? so expensive? I mean, here at the OIC, I think one private lesson for an hour is like ninety dollars. Yeah. I think. Wow. And, I mean, you have to travel, like, every weekend to play tournaments if you want to be good. Yeah. And also just traveling around the world for tournaments if you're playing international. For sure. I mean, also the core fee is, like, I think $30 probably. Yeah. And, and yeah, especially we wow. have, I play at Carlton in the winter where it's $20 yeah. each yeah. per hour. So you're looking at $40 per hour to play in the winter. I guess. So, yeah, that, it's, so it's that's like going to add up over time. Yeah. For sure. And like you said, for young people that are uh, training, I mean, you're playing hopefully at least four or five times a week anyway mm-hmm. for a couple hours so I guess yeah that adds up yeah, so, so right see there. in my mind I'm like buy a pair of running shoes you got a tennis <laughs> racket a couple of balls and off you go but no. so uh, I guess you, some <laughs> parents do have reservations when they see their kids getting really well at, good at tennis because well, that's it they're, they're do, you, do you think there's a need for I know there are some free courts here and there around the city mm-hmm. I'm sure they're not that great of shape do you think that there's more of a need like I mean right now we have you know, over 300 hockey rinks, outdoor rinks in the city. Uh, yeah, you put that into perspective versus what there are for tennis courts. There's not that many tennis courts. Exactly, and more. the few that I've yeah. seen, they don't look in very good I shape like at all. I feel like we need more indoor tennis courts. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's only here the OAC and Rideau and, and Carlton. Carlton, Rideau. Yeah. yeah. 
I yeah, like that. Well, it's not oh, something. And West Ottawa. Okay. But, yeah. So four. It's four. Yeah. And Britannia? That is what. That is West Ottawa. Right? That's West Ottawa. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, that's, I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> Any plans for, uh, I mean, obviously I'm sure you're planning, but Olympics coming up in a couple of years? or? I mean, if I get my ranking up, my ranking uh, right now is 817, I think, and doubles, it's 472, I think. That's your world ranking? That's a cutoff? Yeah, that's a world 472 is a cutoff? No, I'm saying, like, that's my ranking right now, so I'd have to... Have to work on that. Okay. But I think the cutoff would probably be like 180. Okay. I'm not too sure about that. What about qualifying tournaments for the uh, the U.S. Or Open the or the US Roger Open. or Rogers Cup? Well, I played the qualifying the Rogers Cup last summer, but I had to play like a pre-qualifying. Okay. So There's the pre-qualifying before qualifying. Yeah, because it was wow. like the top, I think 12 Canadians that played, and then only four of us got into the qualifying. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really cool experience. And yeah. are you looking forward to that this year? Yeah, hopefully get in again. So I'm good. So where else in the world have you played? I mean, you, you mentioned obviously that you played a couple of spots in in the states and mm -hmm. uh, here in Canada. Is there any other countries that you uh, have played a lot in? Or well, I've played in Mexico and Spain, um, and then the states in Canada. But when I was younger, I traveled in Europe a bit more. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. A very a memorable location that you just can't wait to get back to? Um, Germany was nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Germany is wonderful. Yeah. Love that country. I Sweet. love it. How long ago was it that you were playing in Spain? Um, that was, I think, three and a half weeks ago. Three and a half weeks ago? Yeah. Oh, geez. So Barcelona? you're touring all over the place. I was, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So now you're, now you're <laughs> just sitting, sitting back for more training and then uh, waiting yeah, for the I'm next one, I guess? Yeah, I'm going to train hard for the next month and then try to find funding this month. Yeah. Where, where in Spain were you? The weather? Um, it was actually in the Canary Islands, so it was actually oh, closer Islands. to Africa than it was to Europe. Okay, so it was very warm out there. No, it was actually pretty windy. Very it windy. was warm, but it was really windy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you where you'd have to play the conditions on that one, eh? Yeah, no, that was I had to actually underhand serve. Oh, and really? Like, yeah. It's actually the windiest city in January. And why would the they world. put a tennis yeah. tournament yeah, there? Yeah, I don't know. That a good a <laughs> I didn't know you that until I got there. Under <laughs> yeah. I brought like shorts, shirts, and then I got there and was freezing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, it wasn't too good. That oh. is weird. All right, well, that went by so fast. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> much like our much like our defeat on the tennis court today. Uh, hey, before you you saw me get a point when you walked in. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. In. I did right see Nick get one in, point. I think I think that was I the best shot. I that think was the best shot. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us here Thank at the Ottawa so Hockey. That was a lot of fun. Next week will be a lot of fun. We have Tim from Lunch. Have you heard of the Lunch uh, kind of boutique? Uh, not little restaurants, but kind of restaurant spots in the city. No. They're becoming really popular. Fresh sandwiches, a lot of, it's very European. Uh -huh. it's a Where is it located? They have five locations in the center town. They just opened up recently, one in Gatineau. They have, and they're doing more boutique things in malls. So, mm -hmm. and it's all an Ottawa-based company. It's really, really cool what they're doing. And so that's going to be fun to learn from oh. Tim. Tim Van Dyke, <laughs> uh, find out if he's Dutch. Like myself. <laughs> Are you Dutch? I got my Dutch citizenship on oh, last really? Friday. Yeah. That's awesome. So I want to get my Czech citizenship. There you go, yeah. So we'll so uh, we're gonna do lunch at a loud <laughs> Amsterdam. <so. laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll talk about uh, things to do this weekend in Ottawa. Uh, do you have anything special planned this weekend in Ottawa? Ooh, I don't know. I'm definitely going to the Gatineau matches tonight, though. Okay. How long is that going on for? Um, I think it's this weekend. Yeah, yeah the whole weekend? The whole is weekend. this like a prelim uh, night tonight, or...? Uh, I don't even know what round it is today. Quarterfinals. Is it the quarters? I think so. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Sounds like quarters today, semis tomorrow. I hope not, because I don't want, I don't want <laughs> Philippe going out. So, so that will be fun. So if you want more tennis, if you're, if you're not satisfied with just our tennis talk here, get out to Gatineau. It's at the Sport Tech. Sport Tech, yeah. It's at the Sport Tech in Gatineau, about 10 minutes from downtown Ottawa. So it's awesome to go there. We also have the basketball, CIS basketball championships going Ooh, on. That's right. And Ottawa is ranked. The University of Ottawa is ranked number one for the first time ever what? going into this tournament. That's wow! Because Carlton won I'll, fifty-five I was games say, in a row. How's Carlton feel about that? Well, did I, I sent you that we beat them in the last second? I shouldn't say we because this is Ottawa centric <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I went to the University of Ottawa, <laughs> and uh, they won in a last-second shot and beat Carlton last uh, wow. last week. It was incredible because that fun. was on Sportsnet, and it was uh, crazy. So we're hoping for an Ottawa Carlton final That'd this weekend. Awesome. Tickets will be twenty dollars, thirty dollars for that the finals. But get out there for all the other ones. 
So that that that's everybody. That's nationwide. All the colleges. Yeah, the top eight the univer- top eight universities in the country. Yeah, awesome. Uh, tonight we have Bill Burr uh, at the NAC. So oh, I I'll wish definitely I was be going. there. Well, you definitely could have. I gave I you know. warnings for the Tuesdays and the Thursdays, so it's on your. It's all your fault. So you ever I, listen to Bill Burr? <laughs> no, I want comedian. To. Oh, do unbelievable! It. Yeah, you'll yeah. like him. He's quite amusing. And if you don't, then too bad. <laughs> we're deleting this podcast. <laughs> I'm kidding. Friday we got hip hop karaoke. So yeah. if you like hip hop, if you Ooh, like karaoke, karaoke. hip hop yeah. karaoke, the world's Clyde at Ritual. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Ottawa Showbox, an awesome Ottawa blog, is putting on Wind and Wild, playing with Bossveld at the Raw Sugar Cafe. You have After Hours at Earl's Variety in the Glebe. That's going to be starting. So. The Glebe's going to have a kind of an after-hours DJ kind of show, which has oh, been lacking good. in the Glebe before. So I'm guessing Earl's got their liquor license now. I, I sure hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they definitely do, yeah. Yeah, I know it, it was a bit of a stall after. Happy uh, International Christmas, Women's Day. Oh, oh is it? Oh, yeah. Is it? No, not yet. It's not this, it's but it's this right? weekend. It's this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Uh, so treat your special lady. All ladies in your life to a very special. <laughs> no, just a special day. No one special. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do it for Darren's having a mental health benefit at Flybar, so that'll be a lot of fun on the Friday. What do you got, Mother? What do you got for me? Not a, not, a, not a ton. Um, besides what was mentioned, there's a smoke shack throwing a basketball tournament on Sunday. Where? Uh, that's a good question. At a basketball court somewhere. <laughs> that's, that's I, have to, I have to scroll in here to find it. Uh, also, uh, that's, that's interesting. I, I started shooting basketball this week. I should have Pierre, a lot earlier. Pierre, Eli- Pierre Elliott Trudeau Elementary School, two Miller Street. In Gatineau. Okay. There you go. Jeez, the second happening in Gatineau. Yeah, so I know. We should just launch out loud Gatineau soon, I guess. <laughs> second annual, it's a second annual three-on-three basketball tournament. All right. Um, also, Sunday night, um, Notorious B.I.G. tribute, yeah. ritual. I Can't tribute him every, every time I get in my car. Do you? Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for that, Miller. Thank you again, Petra. We're going to listen to one last song. I hope you listen to the whole song this Patterson Hall, you're going to be hearing a lot from them in the future. This song's called Surgeon, and like a surgeon, I think we sliced up the courts this, <laughs> this afternoon. There you go. <laughs> Have a great week, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, facebook.com, LOL, and, uh, Ottawa. If you, if you have the capacity to sponsor Petra here to uh, represent our country, do it. Absolutely. We want to put Ottawa at the ma- on the map. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great weekend, everyone. Later. Bye-bye.
I